But here's, uh, there's one question that came up, and this is sort of math related, right? Uh, we'll do the coronavirus here. Uh, I'll show you the corona. Actually, let's do the coronavirus before we do. Uh, I just want to show you what, it's, what it looks like, right? Uh, just so everyone gets a feel. I'm pretty sure everyone here has a good feel for it, how exponential growth works. Mm -hmm. But we'll just do a little simple graphic of that, and then we'll deal with the money laundering through the art community, right? So from, from what I understand, I'm sort of following this because it's interesting to me. I like post-apocalyptic movies, comic books, just science fiction on that level. And uh, as soon as you see a government putting dirt on highways to close off 35 million people, you start thinking zombie apocalypse, right? So take a look at this. So coronavirus is doubling every 30 hours or so, the number of cases that are being reported, right? This can't get enough of Chicho's man. <laughs> <laughs> so take a look at this zero mm -hmm. how many days are we in it's three weeks four weeks is it around four weeks Fascar, congratulations but make sure you keep practicing math because it keeps you sharp i agree with uh, herbold two weeks isn't it so it's two weeks into the coronavirus so that's 14 hours right so it's not 14 hours, 14 days, right? Around four, you're right. Around four weeks? Okay, four weeks. So four times seven is 28. So we got 28 times 24, right? Four times eight, 32, two, three, uh, eight, 11, zero, 16, one, eight, four, five, five. So two, seven, six. So we got 672 hours into the coronavirus the first reported cases right or acknowledged cases right for sure i'll i'll make sure to study simple math on my own statistics but statistics especially right so let's assume we're into 672 hours right so what we can do is we round this up make it 700 right so we're just going to put 700 there if we're putting 700 there we're going to split this up into 500 increments right so if we go in the middle that's 3500 or 350 so 350 if we're going 500 so we can't go in the middle right so what do we need we need um, not 500 increments should we do 50 increments oh let's just do in the middle so um what are we going to do this in 350 and this doesn't work out nice let's make this 800 i just want to make it nice my mind is a little mush still okay uh, so let's make this 400 okay we make this 200 we make this 600 right and then 100 300 500 700 oops 700 right hours so how many cases of coronavirus acknowledged are there from what i understand there is a few dozen acknowledged deaths and it's a three percent two to three percent kill uh or death uh outcome right so out of 100 people 100 people three die right we call this cases uh three dead die if if this is too morbid by the way let me know we'll stop talking about it but it is what it is, right? I don't know how many cases there are right now. I lost track. I think it was like, was it 2,000, 4,000, 5,000? Let's make it 6,000, right? Let's put 6,000 here. 6,000 here, right? This will be 3,000. 1,000, 2,000, 4,000, 5,000, right? So we were at 676 cases. 50 50 death i believe 50 death i love that <laughs> i love that so 50 death right so we can figure out how many cases there are by just doing cross multiplication right so if you have 100 over 3 right for every 100 cases 3 die that's 3% death rate if there's 50 death right we can figure out how many cases there are right cross multiply you got 5 times 50 times 100 is 5,000. I usually do this with my students, but 
here, we'll do it again. You can cross multiplication. I'll, I usually always, when I teach cross multiplication, I follow through. Later on, once I've done it a few times, people figure out that you really don't need to bring the three up because you've got to divide by three again, right? So X is equal to, what's 50,000 divided by three, right? Four, four or 5,000 divided by three. 4,500 would be 1,500, right? So I'm pretty sure there's more than 1,500 cases. So let's assume there's 2,000 cases already. Okay. So this would be 3. We can do the long division, right? 3 goes into 5 once. 3 minus 2. Bring this down. 0, 6, 18, 2, 0, 6, 0, 6. So according to 50 deaths, approximately 50 deaths, we got 1,666. Ooh, crazy number, right? <laughs> 1,666 zombie apocalypse is here, right? The virus is deadliest for elders, children, and pregnant women. Is that, uh, I don't know about the pregnant women. I know for and, and anybody that's already sick. Like for me, that I'm coming out of a flu, it wouldn't be a good idea to get the coronavirus because my... Um, what do you call it? Uh, uh, my system is already compromised a little bit, right? Uh, my my mind is mush. Like I can't even think about the right words, right? So um, my immune system is already compromised. So anybody that's already sick is more uh, prone to it. Uh, like I'm pretty sure the three percent is across the board. It's not three percent for children or the elderly i'm pretty sure the rate is higher and one thing i read today there's six <laughs> divine numbers immune immune system thank you uh void uh from what i understand if we have a three percent uh, uh death uh rate for a virus that's about the average on a serious virus right from what I understand, if you go above 20, 20% 20 or more, that's serious problem, huge, right? So this thing so far from reported cases or acknowledged cases, and again, we can't confirm any of the numbers, right? We're going by what's being said, and we don't want to go into the realm of speculation and random videos we've been finding and random little tweets and articles and stuff. We can't go by, go with hearsay. It will find out soon enough what the numbers truly are, right? Give it a couple of more weeks and we'll see what happens, right? But let's assume instead of just to keep the numbers simple, right? We're into four weeks. So let me erase these guys. Let's put some of our numbers up here that we're actually dealing with, right? So time uh, cases so time we're gonna put time here cases and death so time after 672 uh, hours right is it seems a little low but it is 672 that's what we did for four weeks right we got two, let's say 2,000 cases and 50 death okay approximately Hey Chicho, Olive, how you doing? We're doing morbid math right now. We're looking at the coronavirus and trying to do a graph to see what exponential growth looks like, right? So 672 hours, 672, that's 700. So we're here and we're at 2000, right? And here's the thing with exponential growth graphs, right? Let me give you a graph here. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Here is an exponential graph, right? Now, if you take, if you look at the graph from here to here, that still looks linear. If you look at the graph from here to here, that still looks linear. If you look at the graph from here to here, that still looks linear, right? And what happens with an exponential growth is, depends on the timeline you're looking at, how dramatic that exponential growth is gonna look, right? So if you take something for an extended period of time, it's been having exponential growth, you're gonna see, it's called hockey stick, whoop, in Canada anyway, where you see the graph going like this, it's crazy, 
right? So right now we're at the beginning stages of the coronavirus, right? So at 672, we're at 2,000 cases. Every 30 hours, let's call it a day, I guess, but 30 hours, the numbers are doubling. So minus 30, this would be 600 and um, ba -ba 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 -da 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 42. 642, we're at 1,000, right? Another 30 hours, 602 hours, we're at 500. So you can see what this looks like, right? My graph is very tight. So if we do this, this thing is looking like this. And here's the thing with exponential growth. At some point, the jump is huge, right? Like your time frame just goes crazy. So if we add another 30 hours here, we go with our estimation that the virus is going to double every 30 hours. Take a look at this. So let's put some data here. At this, it was 1,000 cases and 25 deaths. So we're at uh, 2.5%, right? Between 2 and 3% death rate. So we're at 2.5% right now, right? At 602 hours, it was 500 cases. This would be... 12 let's round it up to 13 deaths right if we add 30 to this we're at 702 hours 702 hours this should be 4,000 confirmed cases and there'll be 100 deaths how come this went down to oh yeah because it's that okay another 30 hours 732 hours 732 we're at 8,000 cases and we have 200 deaths 762 hours we're at 1600 cases 16,000 cases we're at 400 deaths oops 400 deaths right so let's graph this at 702 we're at 4,000 at 732 we're at 8,000 so 7, 8, right? At 762 hours, we should be at 16,000. 8, 9, 9,000. 10, 11, 12,000. 13, 14, 15,000. And 16,000. So here, we're here. This is what we're looking at, right? <laughs> it's snowing, uh, snowballing effect. Holy jeez, holy jeez, right? So this is two weeks in. We go two weeks in, we're at 2,000 cases, right? Two weeks, 672 hours onto 762 hours. Oops, I gotta subtract the other way. Sorry, let's subtract the other way. 762 minus 672, 0, 6, 16, 9. 90 hours. This is how I track the value of my Magic the Gather collection. <laughs> Wacky how you can track something like an illness with the same math. Exactly, right? Comic books, same deal, right? At, and at some point, when something goes like this, especially in a semi-log scale, if it starts going exponential, a logarithmic graph, semi-log graph, it's going to burn itself out. It's just going to crash, right? Math saves lives, <laughs> right? So 90 hours in two weeks, in 672 hours, we had 2,000 cases. In the next 90 hours, we're going to have 2,000 minus 16,000, 14,000 cases. That's what we're seeing here from there to there, right? So this amount of time, 14,000, this amount of time, 2000 what's going to happen in next 30 hours 
So if we go 792 before 8,000, double it, 32,000, right? And this is going to be 800 deaths. The, the crazy thing with exponential function is you go back one level, it's, things look okay as compared to where you are now, right? Rendell, thank you very much for the subscribe to tier one. Thank you very much for the sub, brother. Just stopping by to say hello. Time to sleep. Have a great stream. Okay, Rendell. Sweet dreams. Sorry about the morbid math. We should have done happy math for nice, sweet dreams, right? This I've been keeping an eye out, eye out for. It's the number of confirmed cases that uh, is going to decide, and it's spreading, right? At least two cases in the United States, at least two cases in Canada. Uh, I believe, anyway, I think it's three. There might only be one. Last time I checked, I think on the radio it said one, but I think Richmond is in, Toronto is in, and from what Void says, uh, Montreal is in as well, right? Uh, Asia, who knows, right? Um, Europe, who knows? United States, who knows right now? Vancouver, I, I will keep my eyes on Vancouver because in Vancouver, it's a huge influx of uh, people coming in from Hong Kong and China. Vancouver is a hub for that connection, right? Uh, in terms of money laundering and in terms of traffic, right? And in ter terms of trade, right? Vancouver is the hub. So where I am, <laughs> Vancouver, Victoria. So that's one reason I'm tracking this uh, pretty closely within reason. There's like three or four, actually more than that. I have a few different news feeds that I'm listening to uh, because it interests me. Uh, not only because of my locality, but also because post-apocalyptic zombie apocalypse, you know, interested in science fiction and stuff, right? I read of some fake news source that it all started with someone eating a bat soup. Probably wrong, but who, who knows? It's saying from the fish market and the snake, and then some people are saying if it, it's it's a bio weapon from that escaped from the chemical weapon thing. We don't know. All we can go by because those, that's all speculation, and there's a lot of misinformation, disinformation. There's a lot of uh, hysteria. There, there's a lot of garbage like that right the only thing we can confirm and this is the beauty of mathematics this is the absolute beauty of mathematics right even if the numbers are being suppressed exponential growth tells us it doesn't matter if the numbers are being suppressed right now because if it's growing exponentially this is not a good sign right if it's spreading exponentially this is not a good sign right so uh, the mathematics is what we have to keep keep track of. So I would say if you're interested in this, look at the confirmed cases, look at the uh, the percentage, the death, that's how many people is taking out, uh, see how it's spreading around the globe, right? So how's money launching through institution? I'll, I'll cover that sleepy waves once we're done with this. Okay, Chicho. You 1F920, how are you doing? <laughs> like the monkey emote. <laughs> Squad A, nice. I wasn't old enough to remember back then, but how similar is the coronavirus panic to that of the SARS outbreak in 2002? The SARS outbreak had the same ratio of uh, confirmed cases to number of people that were dying. This one is spreading more rapidly from what I understand. Okay. And from what I understand, the SARS outbreak uh, was contained better and the mutations uh, sort of inaugurate, inaugurated people uh, and stuff like this. So it was better contained. This one's spreading faster. This one is more severe than the SARS. I believe the SARS killed a lot of people, right? By the time it was all done. Um, we're, we're talking into the thousands of people died, I believe, right? This one is on track for that, if not much more, okay? 
lots of idiotic theories about it lots of idiotic theories about it right just keep your eyes on the mathematics the math that's why really i push mathematics so much because you can have all these people with their own ideologies conspiracy theories and there are some conspiracies that are fact 100 percent, right there are some assumptions theories that are fact there are some that are garbage right but you can entertain those thoughts but don't attach yourself to any of those thoughts attach yourself to the numbers that are coming out because that'll dismiss any garbage you come across or confirm any theories you come across right it's scary to think about it but have you considered the idea of population control by the powers that be yes I've, that's one of the things i've looked at as well right there's one theory coming out saying that one of the reasons that this is happening is because they want to get rid of cash to make a cashless society because cash is dirty right so cash is one of the ways things get spread right i just read one blog a report thing that i follow the economist said well you don't need to get rid of cash all you need to do is go to polymer uh synthetic currencies right that don't hold on to the viruses they don't stay as dirty right they're not cotton based or this based so there's a lot of theories out there why bioweapon this that 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 all i care about personally for me is the rate of growth okay and then because i'm not you know i don't want to know today what it is because in time if something's growing exponentially we're going to find out sooner rather than later what's going on like there's no there's no doubt right yep the internet right I love math. I love math to civil engineers.